Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss the lead setup connections and finalizing the test for the Megger Byte 3 battery impedance test equipment. Let's get started. The Megger Byte 3 battery impedance test equipment allows for measurements of a battery's internal impedance, terminal voltage, and the resistance of the inner cell straps along the battery string. Here we can see the Byte 3 transceiver, amp clamp, and test leads. To take measurements using the Byte 3, it is only necessary to utilize the transceiver unit and the test lead set featuring the two pistol grip probes. The amp clamp current transmitter is an optional device for the escape current and impedance modes of operation. The escape current mode is used for measuring a battery string where parallel paths exist. The impedance mode, however, is used for noisy battery systems to filter out any noise to achieve an accurate test measurement. The connections for the amp clamp and test leads are located on the right-hand side of the transceiver. If you are using the optional amp clamp, you will connect it to the J2 connector labeled CT. The larger J1 connector is where you will insert the plug for the Byte 3 test lead set. If you were going to use the optional amp clamp, it would be applied to the battery string by placing it around one of the inner cell strap connections of the string. In this case, it will be applied to the string between cells 3 and 4. This is only necessary for the escape current and impedance modes of operation. Now press the on-off button to power up the instrument. Then we will configure the Megabyte 3 to begin taking measurements across the battery string. To configure the Megabyte 3 for testing, press the yellow menu button and then select new test and press the enter button. Next we will make our sight and string selections. Use the up and down arrows on the yellow cross pad to select your sight. Then press enter and repeat these steps to select your string. If you do not find the sight and string for your battery system, you can add them by selecting configure at the main menu and selecting the strings option. Once you have made your selections, press the menu button. Highlight select and continue and press the enter button to proceed. The next screen asks the operator to enter the ambient temperature. Enter this value and press the enter button. Following this, you will take ripple and float current measurements. The red test probe will be applied to the positive battery post and the other black pistol grip probe will be applied to the negative post of the same battery to measure both cell impedance and cell voltage. Pull the trigger when you are ready to save your test values. To test the strap resistance between two battery cells, move the positive test probe to the positive terminal of the following battery in the string. In this case, the negative probe remains on cell number 2 and the positive probe has been moved to cell number 3 to measure the strap between cells 2 and 3. Once you have completed testing, press the menu button on the transceiver and select the save and close option to finalize the test. This concludes our discussion of the lead setup connections and finalizing a test for the Megabyte 3 battery impedance test equipment. Visit the Megger YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic, or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.